Hello guys, welcome to the channel once again. Uh, if you're a new visitor, uh, welcome to the channel. A returning visitor, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to walk us through uh, a two feature in Binance, more like a comparison of what you can do with boots and how you can apply boots as when you're trying to trade on your on Binance is just trading. So once again, you move to deliberatives, uh, features, USD features. So uh, I'm going to be talking about limits and markets, okay? Because these are like the two features that you get to see when you're trying to enter a trade, that you properly make use of whichever one that you want to make use of at every situation. Because I actually got some some questions whereby, uh, according to the individuals, they are probably in a situation they want to enter a trade immediately, and they tend to use one instead of the other and then while waiting for that you miss out on the trade that you probably wanted to enter or maybe you want to like set a trade for a future date and then you mistakenly enter your own like so sometimes it's a bit confusing although i think binance try to make it as simple as possible okay so uh this is the interface of just trading so what we are going to be looking at like i said before is the limit and the market part of it so what does that mean so on the limit part is basically for you to set a target of where you want to enter a trade all right and then the market is actually for you to enter the trade immediately at any market price that it is okay uh, i'll put a link in the description that explains the interface of binance okay and i will also try to update it to the current interface so i believe that this, it's actually up to date okay so if you still want me to make another video, maybe an updated part of it, I think they added a few, a few features uh, on the interface. But if you want me to make another video explaining the interface properly, uh, do let me know in the description or sorry in the comment section below, <laughs> and I'll be happy to do that. So this is the other book, okay? Like I explained earlier on, this shows the sell positions or the sell prices. And this shows the buy. So this is actually the current market rate at which is either buying or selling. Of course, the red shows the the sell and the green color shows the buy. So that's for that. But why I actually explain this again is because it will come in handy here during the explanation. So limits. Let's assume uh, the price currently is 1927 it's so this is actually the price that's 19k 90k 278 that's the price currently in the market and you can see that it's selling at 281 okay yeah so let's let me this is actually what it's selling at so uh because let's say i've actually looked at this and i know that it's probably get up to let's say 19320 okay that's this particular portion and then it will start selling okay that's based on my analysis whatever it is okay so i actually want to enter my trade at 19k 320 that's 19320 that's actually what i want to enter my trade at and of course i want to sell okay. so what i'm going to do is to enter a limit not a market all right so on the limit is where you set the price okay so you can see 19 to 2 whatever so this we actually set the price of what i want to enter the trade with so 320 okay so what it means is that at this particular price range i start selling or i start buying so first of all you enter it here so you now what you also need to do is now like to set your btc price range 50 percent that's depending on what you have on your account okay so like i advised earlier on always enter a trade with at most 50 percent of what you have some traders actually that depending on the amount that you actually have and how you choose to trade some people divide their trades into three or probably into four and then going with like a portion in my own case most times i prefer dividing it into two so this way i have another portion uh, left in case of liquidation so that i don't get to like keep pushing money into the account so what i just need to do is like have remaining funds so that in a case we are by somehow what i anticipated didn't work out in that situation and maybe this it wants to liquidate and it probably will still go back to my favor uh i have some budgets that are left 
it can actually enter into so instead of like 100 liquidation it will now probably be 200 liquidation something like that okay so i hope it makes sense so uh depending on any amount that you want to enter the trade with you can select so let's just select 50 uh for this situation and then you either buy or sell okay so this is your stop loss or take profits that advanced whatever i'm not going to deeply explain what this means anyway so i'm just going to leave it as it is i'm not going to explain this but it's simply where you want to take your profit and where you want to stop your loss so i'm going to do a video again to explain the stop loss that's how you can actually take a stop loss a take profit like then how you want to set it up whether when you are immediately entering a trade or when you're really on the trade because you can you also have the power to do that when you're really on the trade just like what you get to do on mt4 mt5 that's if you're a forex trader or if you're actually trading btc or crypto and forex that's an mt4 mt5 so uh that's actually on the side note anyway so now when you already set up where you want to enter the trade so you want to enter at 19 uh, 320 which is this position right and then you want to enter with 50 percent of what you have of course like i mentioned in my previous video where we talked about leverage you actually will have set up the leverage of what you want to enter so always please always always uh be mindful of this because it's very important you might actually want to go with one x while it's probably on 10x or whatever okay so you have actually uh, set up that and then the next thing to do is to dive if you're setting this take profit or whatever you probably want to set it up initially uh, later on when you've entered the trade that's fine and then you either buy or sell so of course buying means that you want once it gets to this place to enter a buy market so you predicting that it will still keep buying up going up that's the price range of course and uh I've, i think i've actually done a video on candlestick but i will do a video to explain that in depth and the different uh kind of time stamps and all that i'll put a link in the description once i've done that i'll link it up in the description too, so i can easily view it that's on a later date um, so well on our prediction or what we actually are according to the video the plan is that once it gets to 19320 we are going to sell because we assume that it will come down to let's say this particular position okay that because this is where it ranged a bit according to our candle whatever okay so because of that i'm going to sell or more like go short okay so what this means is that once i take this position for example if i click on it of course it won't because i don't have the amount on the account but yet again what it means is that once i take the sell or the shots it's once it will actually enter into my book okay so once the market gets to 3 19320 this is actually 1990 so once it gets to 320 automatically i will enter a sell position so once i enter the trade i'll see it on uh, open orders okay and then once the position gets opened it's once i enter the position i'll see it on the position part. so i'll do an explanation on this later on so you can actually understand what this means to me but that's that's actually what it means okay so uh, that's for the limit part all right so this still happens on the long part so let's assume that once you probably are assuming that once it comes down to 19200 who we'll, it will start buying for example so we can also on here okay let's just remove this yeah so we can actually buy in 19200 as the case may be and then depending on the amount you are entering with you can enter with that amount and that's that okay so that's for the limit part so limit basically gives you uh, a control over a position that you want to enter in future so let's say you are trying to like get uh, you probably have a flight and you don't have any to start like waiting when it gets to that position but you already analyze your charts you can easily use the the limit uh, feature on binance trading to actually enter a trade a feature trade and then once it hits that position so this also is in uh, mt4 and mt5 features uh, for forex traders okay so this is actually our feature uh, for for crypto traders in binance 
so we are going to go to the market part so the market part is actually immediate entry okay so whatever you enter with on the market that's what it is all right so uh let's assume the current price of course is not like an amazon the current price of course is 19.269 okay so once we set let's say we're entering at 50 percent what it enters the trade with whether we are buying or we are selling is this so when the market uh feature is good when most people use it or advise people using it is in a case whereby you see like a good trend and you don't want to miss out on it okay for example on this particular position is that this candle sold on the first 15 minutes and then it started selling again and you don't want to miss out on this particular position and you notice that you have actually would have entered the trade at this position or you forgot and you know that it will likely come down to this range before it starts going up again okay because this is where it ranged so you can easily enter the market so just switch the market and then enter with of course set your leverage and enter with the exact amount that you want to enter with and immediately takes the trade up for you so in this case it doesn't enter into the open order as on the position part all right uh, or maybe a situation whereby you you saw that this is a buying candle and then it's also a buying candle here that's on the third candle and you have like uh, maybe there's a news that dropped and will likely start buying again and you have seen the candle moving off rapidly i want to enter that position to make a small profit so you can easily enter the market immediately so the limit gives you a feature setup okay and the market gives and gives you like an immediate entry just like what the name implies okay so this is this like the simplest way to explain the difference between the limits and the market okay so that's that's like the two major features that you'll be using uh, on a later video uh, video rather because i don't want to make this video very long it's already around 12 minutes or thereabouts on a later video i will explain in depth on what the other ones means but in most cases this is what you actually be using that's the limit of the market when you are trading on pictures in binance so thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that more people will actually get the opportunity to see the video people that actually need it and also don't forget to share the video and thank you for watching once again i'll catch you in the next one peace out cheers